Hello today and welcome back to Tokyo Xanadu X Plus, the after story. Happy Halloween in March. Unless you're watching this in October, then lucky you. Also notice that Nikea logo way off in the distance. Combination of Ikea and Nike. Good job, Falcom. Uh, I actually don't know where I'm going. Let's look at the quest. Story of selling from Azusa. Right now, Sakamura is planning a sale to coincide with the Autumn Festival, and I really need your help to promote it. If you have the time, please come see me at the Moramiya Star Camera Store. Sure thing. That is a thing I can do. Welcome all! Come check out our incredible Autumn Festival sale! There are huge savings on appliances for fall and winter right now, so please come in today! Huh, I didn't know they already switched to their autumn uniforms. Um, excuse me. Oh, have you... I mean, you came because of my posting on Nier, right? Yeah, though you can have told me about it. You were looking for someone to help out with your promo campaign, right? Yes, that's right. If you have the time, I can explain the job to you right now. Okay, except Azusa's job doing so will start a quest in which you can enlist the aid of a friend. You won't be able to leave Station Square until it is complete. Okay, I didn't realize, uh, well, I had skimmed these a little bit in the last video, and I knew that there was like a big mountain of text attached to them, but I kind of ignored it. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to look at our status, our friend level, because I assume this is going to affect our soul levels. Alright, right, we got a Asuka up to 6, Sora trailing behind, still on the precipice of hitting level 5. Yuki, you're getting close to 6, Shio getting close to 6, uh, you 2 hit 6 already, and Goro Sensei's pretty close. Now, of course, these bars are lies. Well, I don't know whether or not they're lies. One of the bars is a lie. Either what we're seeing in this menu is a lie, or the bar that pops up after you hang out with people is a lie, because they are super contradictory. I've still yet to figure out which one is the truth. I think it's the one that pops up after you hang out with someone. I think, unfortunately, the one that's in the menu, which I have access to at all times, is the one that's a lie. How unfortunate. All right, take the job. Of course, color me in. What do you need help with? Thank you very much. First off, please take these. Azusa handed over what she was holding. Balloons? Balloons and bags of candy and snacks? Ah, uh, so you want me to hand stuff out trick-or-treat style, right? Exactly. Although there won't be any tricking on your part. The plan was to pass them out to all the children in Station Square during our autumn sale. But this year, there were far more people around than in previous years. So we weren't able to give anyone balloons during the initial flood. I see. I think I know what you want me to do now. You want me to track down the kids that didn't get a balloon and give them one, right? That's it. Please, I'm depending on you. It's going to be a lot of work, and I'd love to get someone else to help out, but... Oh, if that's the case... If it's okay... Is it okay if I call someone, some people I know? What? You know someone who'll help? Yeah. Hold on for a sec. Let me make a couple calls. So sorry about this. I hope you can help. Uh, let me think about this for a second. All right, who should I call? Who do you want to help with the request? Warning, the person you choose now won't be available for other activities. That's good to know. Let me think about this. Uh, God, I'm so indecisive. Let's just go with, uh, with Sora. I feel bad that she's all the way back there at level four. Also, this event doesn't seem to be anything too special, so I think this is a good fit. After making a couple of calls, I explained the situation and got a friend to come to the station. We ended up getting one more thing from Azusa. <laughs> okay, this is the kind of thing I've seen some screenshots of. 
I knew that there was like a Halloween theme to the after story already. I've been like, I've been seeing these screenshots every now and then and I'm like, what's going on in Tokyo's Anadu? Oh, we have to wear these costumes while handing stuff out. It's starting to feel Halloweenish. It reminds me of the community center's children events back in my hometown. I'm counting on you guys. I just need you guys to walk around Station Square and talk to any children not holding a balloon. G got it. Alright, let's do this. Oh, look, look at that. She's, she's following me. This is, this feels really weird. It feels like I'm playing a different RPG all of a sudden. It told me, would you like a balloon? No. <sighs> I wonder how I can get Mr. Goro to notice me. Oh, she would have had totally unique dialogue had I told Goro to come with me. I mean, I couldn't get anything out of him even during summer school. <sighs> I give you a gold star for persistence. But seriously, why don't you just give up and get a cat or five? <laughs> Whoa, roasted. Hey, don't say stuff like that. It'll just make me a sad panda. Okay, Axis. Have fun with that line there. Children. Oh, no, you already have one. You, the privileged boy. With already a balloon. Move out of my way, Sora. I'm gonna run into you for... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the moonwalk. This kid has a balloon, too. Aren't we supposed to be looking for kids without balloons? Oh, wait, this girl. Kana here. Oh, I remember you two. We did a quest with you two. Guess who's getting a balloon, Kana? Whoa, it's a wizard. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa Take. Why do wizards wear big hats? That's... I wonder why. Um, it's because they keep snacks inside their hats. Maybe? How cute, Ko. Here you go. Please take one. Hi. Okay, don't you? I recorded unique lines for this? Yay, thank you! Sure, you're welcome. Are they mock oh yeah, they're super marked on the map. Let's go into the pharmacy. No. Here we go. What's he doing? Oh, he's playing on his phone. What a freaking typical youth kids these days. Back in my day, we used to have Game Boys, and they didn't even have backlights. Oh, there's another kid who didn't get a balloon yet. Here you go. Take one. Really? All right, thanks. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Yep, and it also means we don't have to spend any money on snacks. Wow, this kid's really frugal. In fact, we can use that money to buy something else for dinner tonight. Wow, he's really frugal. Well, he seems happy, so I guess it's fine. So what sharp kid you have there. Oh, is Shigeru gonna be in here? Yeah, Shigeru. Stop watching this Sin 2 trailer and take this balloon. Who needs Sin no Kiseki 2? Hey, why are you guys dressed like wizards from an RPG? And from a fantasy RPG to boot. I like those a lot, too. It's cool and all, but it's super hard on me since my parents banned me from playing video games. What? Smack your parents. Well, it's not exactly a costume from a game or anything. Video games are cool and all, but you should unplug today and enjoy the festival. I don't know if this will make you feel any better, but here you go. Thanks, guys. But with all that's going on, I might not be able to download that one demo. Who's left? Oh, someone in Books Orion. Also, someone downstairs. What do we got? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about you, Satomi. I hope she's like, I don't need this. Oh, it looks like this girl didn't get one either. Hey, you want a balloon? I also have some snacks. Balloons and snacks? Oh yeah, she's totally gonna like spurn us. Hmm. <laughs> and you think this is a good way to treat a lady? Why exactly? It's not like I'm a child and get excited over that sort of stuff. Oh, sorry about that. 
Hmm. Girls around the siege are kind of complicated, aren't they? But if you really insist, I could take one for you. It's your guys' job, right? I think I can help you out this time. Uh, okay, then. So tell me, one of the best freaking NPCs in this game for some reason. It's mainly just because she has like that one really good line in chapter one. Daddy, where are we going to play? Hmm, let's see. Oh, it looks like there are other kids here. Looks like they just arrived by bus. Please, take one. Handed over a balloon and a snack. Ah, a balloon. I even got a snack, Daddy. Yeah, good for you. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Have fun. Alright, looks like we were able to pass out the last of the balloons. Let's head back to Azusa and let her know we're done. Aw, uh, yeah, we gave out balloons and candy. The hypest gameplay on YouTube. What a great after story Tokyo Xanadu has. Oh, did you finish handing out everything already? Yeah, we managed it somehow. We gave balloons to all the children, I think. I said without a period on that sentence. Really? Thank you so much. You guys really helped me out. It wasn't that big of a deal. But you must really be motivated to promote the sale to go as far as to pass out balloons and candy. Uh, of course. And while it's good advertising for the store, it also, it's also about giving children a chance to enjoy the Autumn Festival and Halloween at the same time. I see. I guess it's easy enough to understand. And it is fun. And it looks like all the kids enjoyed themselves. All the kids were so cute. I'm glad I decided to help out. Well, thank you very much for today. Here's a little something to show my appreciation. Please take it. Autumn Festival set. Oh, it's just these frickin' hats and the capes. Obtain two Autumn Fest cookies. Some of the snacks from earlier and the costumes. Yep, seriously, you really helped me out, so please take it. I hope you two enjoy the Autumn Festival together. Afterward, we went our separate ways. The friend page has been updated. Alright, who's up next? Uh, quest. The Great Pumpkins. Uh, from Mr. Yanagi. I was thinking of hosting a pumpkin carving class during the Autumn Festival. I could really use your help with a few things. Please come by if you have the time. Oh, the event will be at my store, Yanagi Sports. That is another thing that we can do. Uh, shopping Street. Also, I did not get soul level points for Sora, right? <laughs> I'm not crazy. That didn't... Nothing happened. Now I feel bad. I kind of feel like I should have brought her over here instead. Uh, status. Yeah, what the hell? I thought for sure. I thought for sure we were going to get points. Lame. Actually, there's something I really need your help with now. Oh, that's right, we talked to him once before. Uh, take the job. Sure, I can start right now. So, what do you want me to do? Oh, you're a big help. I asked a few others in the area to pitch in materials and tools for my pumpkin carving glass. Unfortunately, something came up right now and I can't go around and grab everything. And if I don't do it now, the class will start super late. I see. So you want me to go around and collect everything for you? That sounds easy enough, but what's the emergency you have to take care of? Um, uh, well, you know, it's something super important that could change my life forever. Uh, yes, this is Yanagi. Hey, are you ever going to come pick this stuff up? If you don't come for it soon, I'm going to sell it off. Whoa, please just wait a little longer. I'll be right there. Oh, what was I thinking scheduling things on the same day as the Autumn Festival? I'm not sure what that has to do with anything, but it looks like you're in a hurry to go. So leave the store to me and get going. Th thank you, Ko. You don't know how big of a help you are. Here, take this. Inagi handed over a list of things to pick up. 
There's a lot of stuff you'll need to carry, so it'll be a bit of a hassle to do by yourself. I'll come back as soon as I can. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Gotta eat pulled ass out of there. With that, Yanagi bolted from the store, almost tripping over his own feet in the haste. He looks really stressed out over something. I should ask him about it later. But looking at this list, he's right about it being a hassle for one person. I should call someone to come over because I'm going to need the help. Okay, okay, time to get at it. Uh, okay, so Sora has been wiped off. I don't know who I want to pick. Well, now that we're not getting soul points, I don't know. Like, obviously, I probably am going to want to do something with Asuka, but not until, like, it's got to be the right event, you know? Like, handing out candy, uh, going to pick up stuff for Yanagi, uh, this isn't, th it's not the right mood that I want. So, I got to pick wisely here. That said, we only have five quests, so we only got four left. And I'm assuming that who you pick is going to affect something. Like, why else would they, like, why else give me the option to do things with people and then not give me soul points? It has to affect something, right? Uh. Shio, my dude. We're doing it. He's big and strong. He can carry stuff. Afterwards, I explained the situation to the person I convinced to help out at Yanagi Sports. Sorry to make you come out here, but I really need your help. Don't worry about it. If anyone in Shopping Street needs help or something, I'm there. So, where do we need to go? Uh, according to Yanagi's list here, we need to go to the grocery store, candy store, and the blacksmith. Alright, let's get started. Alright, Shio, we're doing it. Let's go to the candy store. Hey, Grandma Chio. Oh, you're Sosuke's boy, right? Welcome. Shio, thanks for playing with the children the other day. Huh? Yo, don't give me that look. Feel free to relax and browse. There's lots of snacks and toys. Actually, we're here about something else today. I explained that we were here to pick up things for the pumpkin carving class. Oh my, so that's why you're here. Chortle, so Yanagi finally made his decision. I know his mother would be overjoyed. Is he getting married or something? Okay? What is she talking about? Alright, I'll go get it. Please wait a minute. LED lamp. I see, it's a lamp to put inside the pumpkin. Thank you, Grandma Chio. Eh, no problem. Yanagi and everyone worked really hard to prepare for that event. You all should try to have as much fun as you can at the event too. Yeah, got it. Yeah, didn't you know you have like a backstory? I mean, it's been literally months since I probably read this in like the early part of the game. But didn't he have like a backstory where like he's still single and is like his mom wanted to set him up or something? And I may have remarked how there's a parallel between that and the uh, the NPC in the town of Rolint and Trails of the Sky who runs the uh, the general goods store. He has the exact same story in his life where uh, he's still single and his mom's trying to hook him up. Hey there, Ko. Welcome. Oh, Shio, you're here too. You're big as always. Here to do some grocery shopping? No, not right now. Maybe later, though. Yanagi asked me to run an errand for him. I explained to how about I came to pick up the things for the pumpkin carving glass. Oh, I see. Actually, I remember him mentioning something about that this morning. Hold on a second. I'll bring it out right now. It, it's huge. People actually use these for monstr these monstrosities for jack-o'-lanterns? Yeah, I ordered it especially for this day. I was prepared to go into the red if need be. Here, take it already, you thief! It's going to be hell carrying this. Good thing I brought Shio. I almost brought Toa. And Blacksmith. This is where Shio was earlier. And Akihiro's still here. Man, it's like you dropped off the face of the earth. What have you been up to, Shio? 
Uh, sorry about that. But helping out Tokisaka with stuff. It's going to take longer than I thought, so you're pretty much on your own. Man, you're never going to change, are you? But anyway, good luck with whatever you're up to. What the f- What? How did that get a friend page? Are you telling me that you can't get whatever friend page that was? I assume for Akihiro. Unless you take Shio with you right now? What the f- No, there's no way. Falcom wouldn't be that mean, would they? That's, like, super specific if that's the case. Yo, Mayu. <sighs> oh, Tokisaka and everyone. Welcome, everyone. It's just Shio. Um, so was there a reason you all came by? Yeah, it has something to do with the upcoming pumpkin carving glass. I explained how I was told to come by and pick up a few things for the carving glass. I see. It sounds like Mr. Yanagi is really busy. Grandfather, do you have that thing Mr. Yanagi... Yes, I know. Here you go. The carving kit. It's a spoon and knife to carve out the pumpkins. They seem really sturdy and easy to use. It's a custom item designed by my grandfather. He wanted to make sure they'd be safe for children to use, so he made a bunch of prototypes. Hey, no need to blabber on about stuff like that. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but... It's kind of strange seeing him do normal smithing work. Understandable, seeing as all we've been asking for is improvements for our soul devices. Hey, no need to blabber on about stuff like that. Just take it already. Isn't that what he said last time? They just repeated the line. Why you and I have to finish off the extras? All right, we'll be taking off then. Good luck with your training. Thanks. Looks like we got everything. Let's go return to Yanagi Sports soon and wait for Mr. Yanagi. Looks like we have all the stuff that we asked for. Should we go back and wait for Yanagi to return? Yeah. After returning to Yanagi Sports with all the stuff, we decided to hang out and wait for Yanagi. Uh, I'm back. Welcome back, Mr. Yanagi. Sorry, Ko, but I didn't realize I was running so late. I'm guessing getting everything together was as difficult as I thought it'd be. No worries. I called in the cavalry. Hey. I see. Uh, seriously, thank you, everyone. It's because of your help I was able to make it in time. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you about that. What was the emergency? Um, actually, it's kind of embarrassing to just show it off like this. With that, Yanagi pulled out a small box and perched it on his outstretched hand. Inside was a ring with a small jewel on it. Wow. Is that an engagement ring? Is that for the woman at the floor shop you've been going out with recently? <laughs> yeah. I bought it from the jewelry store in Nanahoshi Mall. I see. Well, I never expected it to be something like this. Well, I have no idea if she'll accept it or not. And to be honest, I'm not sure I have the courage to ask her. Oh my god, it's almost time! I can't wait to see what we're going- what we're supposed to do first! Shoot! This isn't the time to be loll lollygagging. I need to prepare for the pumpkin carving class. There are already folks waiting outside. Really? Alright, we'll help out too. With that said, the store was quickly reconfigured and the first pumpkin carving class started as scheduled. Halloween. <laughs> Look at Shio carve that pumpkin. Someone please make a Mishy pumpkin. I want a Mishy lantern, please. Falcom, please. Nah, I get a feeling it's not gonna happen. We would have seen it already. Everyone sat down together and carved a number of jack-o'-lanterns with those who wandered in to take the class. What a weird place to hold this at. The sports store. Thanks to you guys, the pumpkin carving glass was a huge success. Really, none of this would have happened without your help. I want you to I want you to have these as tokens of my appreciation. Jack-o'-lanterns. Are those supposed to go on our heads? Is this a... Seriously, I can actually wear this? 
Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd make a few of those to give out to those who participated. Take it, it's yours. Fair enough, thanks. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say in this case, but good luck with the ring and all. Come on, just man up and do what needs to be done. Yeah, I'll do my best. Afterward, everyone went their separate ways. Jesus Christ. That's exactly what it is. Oh my goodness. Nani? It's Fox Kid. Fox Kid has joined the fray. Look at this kid wearing the jack o' lantern. Takashi. Look, Momo, your big brother is going to transform into the pumpkin mask of justice. Man, I I'm all thrown off. First, we got a freaking jack o' lantern costume. And then Fox Kid's like, what's up? Did you forget about me? The story's happening now. I hope you're ready for it. I sing the brew... I sing the brew fest electric. What the hell? From Mr. Hama. Uh, there we go. The annual autumn brew fest is on the same weekend as the autumn festival this year, which isn't a big deal, except we hit a snag with our PR efforts. If you have the time, please stop by Cafe Bar Inn in Horaicho so I can fill you in on the details. Hamaguchi, aka Mr. Hama. All right, Joe, it is. They did say the story was going to advance somewhat after you did two, which I guess is just getting that voicemail. Okay. Oh, Ko, I'm glad you're here. It's been a while since I had you come work for me during the day, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. You can have told me you needed help, but as always, forgot to mention any of the details. Okay, then I'll fill you in on everything now. Is there any other business you want to take care of beforehand? Actually, yeah, let's hold off for a second. You know what would be a good idea? To just read the other two as well, because I want to know kind of like what the context of the other quests are before I commit to who I choose to bring on them. So, nice boat from Ishima. We're unveiling a new boat at the Autumn Festival, but we want to shake it down before renting them out to the public. I was hoping you could take one out on the lake first. If you're game, swing by the Sylvan Cafe. Okay, I'm hoping that's the swan boat, so that might be a good one to bring Asuka on. And dance for me, Morimaru. Dance! We have a performance planned for the Autumn Festival featuring our own very own Morimaru. Want to dance the night away with Moramiya's guardian fairy? Come to the Nanahoshi Mall. Uh, I'm feeling like that's a Rion one. All right, now we know what all of them are. Let me fill you in on everything now. Okay, take the job. Now nah, I'm good. What's the job? All the near po all the near post said was it had something to do with the upcom upcoming upcoming fest. Exactly. All the bars and pubs in Horaicho get together and throw an annual, unofficially official event. The idea is we sell tickets that give folks access to all the bars so they can relax and have fun. This year, I was chosen to lead the executive committee and handle the event organization. I see. Hmm. I... I'm no... God damn it, Axis. I know you can handle it, so I don't think the Horaicho folks have anything to worry about. I thought I could too, but sadly, that's not exactly been the case. Take a look at this. Got this book or pamphlet, whatever this is, is huge. A, oh, it's a poster. A Brewfest poster. Uh, hold on for a sec. Here it is. Hama hit a switch embedded in the back of one of the posters. What? There's a switch at the back? Oh, okay. It, whoa, it lights up. It's a custom-made poster that has LEDs embedded in it so that it stands out, even at night. It was all great until I received the actual posters from the printer. That's when I realized I forgot to ask about an essential component, the battery. 
I bought a bunch of batteries and started installing them, but lost track of time in the process. Yikes. That's not like you to make a mistake like that. Yeah. I shouldn't agree to... I shouldn't agree to do things without knowing exactly what's involved. Anyway, I ran out of time and couldn't get the posters up when I needed to. I get it now. You want me to go around and put them up for you, right? Don't worry. I got you. You helped me out a bunch of times in the past. But I don't think I'll be able to get it done by myself. Is it okay if I get a friend to help me? Of course. I was at my wit's end, as I still have to prepare for the festivities tonight. Really, thank you. I'll leave where and how many posters to put up to your best judgment. Alright, who should I ask for help? Mm, that's a good question. Who should I ask? So we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, reserve Asuka and Rion. That leaves Yuki, Mitsuki, Goro, Shiori, Ryota, Chun, and Toa. Um... Let's get Mitsuki. I explained the situation to my friend and somehow convinced them to come all the way out to Raichou to help out. I figured two people could get things done faster. Alright, let's get these posters up. Alright, let's canvas the neighborhood to find out where the best place to post these would be. It's just cheap by looking at the map. Oh man, there's a lot of them. There's a whole lot of them. <laughs> Glad they animated her mouth for that. The posting of the posters has begun. All right, just like this. Another poster has been posted. Oh, we better not forget to put one up over at Hama's place. Is that what we just did? Or does he mean inside? Maybe inside? No. Okay, that was a weird sentence then. Tell me to do the thing I just did. Not even gonna ask permission to put this up. Another poster fulfilling its purpose. Good job, little poster. You know what? Okay, these are getting clever. Not too shabby. Someone had fun with this at least. <laughs> Another poster put up. Yep, this should be fine. Alright, credit whoever it access edited these, okay? Th these are pretty clever. I feel like I'm reading chess messages out of a Trails game. Yes. Alright, poster, consider yourself posted. Alright, another one down. Right under this air conditioner. <laughs> another poster embraces it pr its purpose. Alright, looking good. Since we're in the area, we might as well put up a few near the club up ahead. Oh, it's you guys. The Blaze dudes. Hey, what are you guys up? What are you guys doing here? Oh, you're with Blaze. It's been a while, huh? Anyway, it's nothing major, but I briefly went over Operation Brewfest promotion with the Blaze guys. Oh, so you're put just putting out, putting up posters. What a bunch of chumps doing grunt work. It's a paying gig. Speaking of pointless bullshit, what are you up to? Fucking roasted. Way to go, Co. I'm hoping you're not harassing girls or beating up kids for their lunch money. Uh, of course we're not. We're beyond that that kind of petty crap. We're more like on patrol or something. Yeah, a lot of guys from outside the city always start stirring up shit around this time of year. So we're just keeping an eye out for them. You guys are doing something like that? That's unexpected. We've been trying to help folks more, but people tend to run in the opposite direction when we show up. Can't blame them, really. I mean, the drug shit alone would scare most people off. We just keep what Akihiro told us in mind. It'll take a while for peeps to forgive, but it will happen. 
Remember what Blaze really stands for, right? Huh. Us running into you guys right now must be fate or something. Yo, give us some of those posters. Huh? What he means is, we'll take care of putting up posters around the club for you. If I get some of the others to help out, we can bang this out in no time. I see. Alright, I'll leave this area to you. I handed a pile of posters to the Blaze crew. Alright, let's get these up quick like. See you guys later. I'm glad they seem to have turned over a new leaf. I guess they took a long hard look at what they were about. Maybe they finally realized what Blaze was all about. Let's leave this area to them and move on. <laughs> Another poster is Embrace It's Destiny. I already used that line. This looks good. Another poster posterized. Alright, good enough. We got one left, two left. So many posters. <laughs> Another poster put in its place. Eh, good enough for a punk like you. Wait, is he talking to the poster? What the fuck? As I said before, you are witnessing the hypest gameplay on YouTube. <laughs> Poster met its new friend, Wall. There we go. Karaoke? Now, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever spent time in a place like this. I'd like to come here again with everyone sometime. Sure, let's get something planned. Is that everyone? Oh, now there's one in the alley. Right by the Takehane group. There we go. I'm sure everyone will see it here in this alley. Poster Ascendant. Phew, that looks fine then. It's not like people ever really walk by here, but it seems excessively lonely and desolate. No, I need to banish such gloom and gloomy and defeatist thoughts. Oh, it's you guys. I had a feeling we'd run into you. You're... Oh, hello, Goto. Any reason why you're hanging out around our offices? None. Actually, I just happen to be in the area. I explained that I was wandering the district putting up posters for the brew fest. Ah, I see. I was wondering why I hadn't seen anything for it yet. I just assumed they were having problems. Well, tell you what, I'll help you out. Come again? I look forward to the brew fest every year. It's my favorite event. Anyway, leave this area to me. I handed Goto a small stack of posters. Hey, who here has some time? I got something that needs to be done. Yes, sir. What do I feel shit just got real? That's just how Goto is. It's best that you just smile, nod politely, and let him go about it. The members of the Takehane group spread out and put up reams of posters. Afterwards, we thanked Goto for his help before he went back to the festivities. Looks like we pretty much wallpapered the entire area. Let's go report back to Hama. Good work, Ko. I take it you finished putting up all the posters? Yep, we focus on putting them up in areas where a lot of people would see them, including that back alley. Really? Thank you so much! I knew I could count on you, Ko. <laughs> Thanks, but... It's not that big of a deal. That and I got a lot of unexpected help from people. It was thanks to the bonds we formed with those around us. Thank you for helping out too. As thanks, I want you to take this. Proof Fest Coaster. Accessory. 
Oh, thanks. I could definitely use this. And if you need me for any part-time work at night, please let me know. I'll take you up on that. Afterward, we all relaxed and hung out while quaffing coffee Hama made for us and then went our separate ways. Let's see what that item does. Range plus 60. Ooh, it's it's pretty good. Power plus 60. Uh, who cares about the flying set, though? A souvenir coaster made for the Autumn Brewfest. Oh, I don't know if that's a good trade-off because of how much it decreases the magic attack. What about you, Rion? Oh, that's right. You two have the same setup. Also, it's really weird to see Rion with her soul device in her winter uniform. Freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, this might be a good fit with, uh, with Goro. Yeah, let's go with this. Well, that takes care of that one. I think I'm going to do the Morimaru one now. That was at the mall, right? Um, excuse me. Oh, a customer? Sorry, if you want Morimaru's autograph, you'll need to wait until after the event. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I saw your post on Nier. Oh, really? I've been waiting for you. I know it's really short notice, but do you have the time to talk about the details? Set the job. Sure, why not? Your post said something about getting the crowd hyped up. Yes, that's right. I want you to get up on the stage and dance with Morimaru right now. Dance with Morimaru on stage. Are you insane? Actually, we were just about to kick off the performance, but one of the dancers called and told us that he couldn't make it due to a sudden illness. We've been calling around everywhere trying to find someone who could take their place. I guess you can have heard about your plight. Oh well, it's not like the dancer wanted to be sick. I've honestly never danced before, backing or otherwise. But what the heck, since I agreed to do it, I might as well go all in. Sorry about this, but seriously, thank you for helping out. Oh, Alright, we just need one more person to show up and we'll be gold. Oh, is it okay if I ask a friend to help out? A heads up that they'll be just as clueless as me, but I know they do their best to pull it off. Could you, please? Alrighty then. Oh, but it's not true because this person's not clueless on dancing because it's Rion. Get over here and dance with me, Rion. The event staff then walked blah 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 blah. So oh, later we're ca oh oh god we've unlocked our personas for some reason. I am regretting this immediately. Wow the customers fit you oh the costumes fit you oh so very well. I'm almost jealous. We have to perform in this. I feel like a low went low rent werewolf. Well it's definitely a bofo disguise. Also, it's kind of cute, don't you think? I'm even more nervous now since we're getting zero time to practice. Nah, you'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. The dance itself is pretty simple as it only has three steps. I'll basically be the lead dancer. I'll kick off each step. All you have to do is watch me and mimic what I do. Easy peasy, right? And don't worry if you make a mistake and totally blow it. Hawking laughter is still laughter. By the way, Rion. Would it be possible to get your autograph after the show? Huh? I thought the, the great and mighty Morimaru was a Haruna fan. Um, that's an entirely different matter and subject for another day, right? I was just teasing you. Man, Morimaru has some balls. <laughs> You're one to talk, Ko. I was also a Haruna fan when I was Morimaru for that one day. All right, everyone, it's almost showtime. Good luck, everyone. Just leave it to me. Oh, well, it's time to sink or swim, I guess. Yep, it's time to show everyone an idol's true power. Why is that capitalized? 
And so Morimaru kicked off the dance event with his two quasi-willing backup dancers. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I have arrived. Yay! Squeal! Morimaru! Oh yeah, everyone seems to be super pumped and ready to dance. Are you all enjoying yourselves at this year's autumn festival? Woo! And now the moment you've been waiting for, the Morimaru dance! Oh! Let's get the party started! This awesome dance is brought to you by the uber fairy Morimaru and his familiars! Everyone get on your feet and dance along! Start the music! Don't worry, it starts off super easy! Right! Left! Huzzah! Left! Right! Huzzah! Come on! Here we go, let's do this! Right left pose Left right pose And perfect! That's why they're my familiars! Okay, everyone, let's see if you can keep it up. Right. Right. Huzzah. Left. Left. Huzzah. Right. Right. Left. Right. Huzzah. Come on. Crap, how did all that go? Are we doing just the last one? I think so. I think we're just doing the last one, which was right, right, left, right pose. Well done. I'm starting to feel the seductive pulse of the forbidden beat. What the fuck? Now it's time to separate the fairies from the familiars. Try to follow my lead and not mess up. Let's go, go, go. Right. Left. Yay. Left. Right. Yay. Huzzah, 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 huzzah. Yay, yay, yay. I think that was eight. One more to finish it all off. Huzzah. This is the last one. How many times should I pose? Oh man, I'm so glad I counted. When it started going, I was like, oh man, it's gonna be a number, isn't it? I think it's eight. Wait, is it, oh, is it nine? I think Mar Morimaru did nine? I can't believe this is a thing that's happening. <laughs> Yay! So everyone, did you have as much fun as I did? Yay, Morimaru! The wolfies in the background weren't too bad either. Thank you all for getting down with the mighty Morimaru. And remember that you can keep dancing all night. Seriously, if anyone wants to jump up here and dance along, come on up and get down. Alright, that's all for now. Thank you and good night. Woohoo! And with that, the dance event ended on a high note with great success. Morimaru, everybody, great work today. Wow, that was actually really fun. Thanks for your help. You were a bit off on the grand finale, but don't let it gnaw at your soul too much, okay? Well, you can't deny it added much needed, much needed charm to things. Regardless, I'm just glad we made it through mostly embarrassment free. <laughs> I wonder if I could incorporate some of those dances into our routine. Chortle, thanks to your help today, I know that the other events will be an even bigger success. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. Oh god, it's the fucking furry shit. Um, aren't these the costumes we were wearing on stage? Yes, I thought you'd want to keep them as a memento of today's performance. FYI, I'm going to be performing tonight over at Sunshine Road. Hopefully I'll see you in the audience where you belong. Whoa, roasted. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. After some random conversation, everyone went their separate ways. I wonder if you get like additional virtue if you never mess anything up. The last bit was hard, man. 
thought I counted right. And nine is such a weirdly specific number. It bothers me that it's not an even number. Wait, where's the last one at? Oh, right, the cafe at the park. I'm sure you're also like me thinking how funny that event would be with different characters. Like if we got Shio to do that. Do you have a minute? I'd like to lay out the details immediately if you have the time. That's right, we talked once. Sure, go ahead. Thanks. All right, what I want you to test is none other than that. Yeah, all right. Is that a swan boat? Yep, we got it especially for the Autumn Festival and dressed it up for Halloween. It'll be available to the public starting tomorrow. Gotcha. It definitely seems like something couples would be all over. Haha, <laughs> right? But it's only just arrived and it hasn't been taken out for a single time yet. So what I need you to do is to take it out for a spin and tell me how it performs. Okay, I think I've got it. And I'm totally fine to test it out, but... It would feel kind of weird just going out there by myself. There are still a few brave souls who will go out on their own. But if you'd like, I wouldn't mind if you invited someone along to ride with you. In fact, it'll probably be a better simulation having two in the boat. Invite someone, huh? Hmm. I'll make a call then. Can you wait for a little bit? Sure, I'll prep the boat while you do that. I'll prep the boat while you do that. Get in here, Asuka. We're doing this. I explained the situation and called a friend over to Memorial Park. Thanks for coming all the way out here. It's alright. I was on break anyway. There's no need to thank me. So this is the swan boat you were talking about. Alright, if you're ready, then all aboard. I'd like you to make a lap around the lake, then report back to me. Be on the lookout for any problems. Got it. Alright, let's do this. How exciting. She is surprisingly willing. I wonder if I get to control this. We got it. We got settled in and began to pedal. The swan boat glided out majestically onto the lake. Whoa. Well, it seems to be functional, at least. Pedaling with two people and steering is a bit awkward, though. But it's not a bad ride. Once you get into a rhythm, it's actually... God, this is going fast. Should we... It's way too fast. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, I hate it when Falcom games do this, when they have the auto text that you have no option but to just let it go. <laughs> We're almost dead center now. Phew. You know, swan boats are actually pretty nice. It's a bit cold during autumn, but the sun's still out and the water's calm. I can kind of see the appeal of these things for couples. I agree. It does feel rewarding working together to drive it. I can see it being really popular tomorrow. All right, I think we've got a feel for it now. Let's head back to the boat rental. I'll give Mr. Ijima a quick rundown of... Huh? Is something wrong? Well, it feels like the pedal's gotten heavier. Actually, scratch that. It's completely stuck. Is it busted? I immediately contacted Ijima and explained the situation. Hmm. I think it might be water weeds caught in the propeller. Could you just hold on for a few minutes? I'll come out there and help you with the boat. Sorry, thanks. So it looks like we'll be waiting here for a bit. Man, what a disaster. My bad. I called you all the way out here and this happens. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. Besides, just look at that view. We might as well relax and enjoy it while we wait. You really are used to stuff like this, aren't you, Asuka? All cool and calm? Do people naturally get like that if they keep going into the eclipse? You've got it all wrong. It's not the eclipse, it's you. Since the spring until now, I haven't had a moment's rest. What's that supposed to mean? You make me sound like a troublemaker. Oh, didn't you know? You leap first, think later. Surroundings, consequences, it doesn't matter, you just jump in. You should really think about what that does to the people around you. 
Jeez. Why don't you tell me how you really feel? It's not like I don't get what the consequences are before I do something. It's just... Having you and everyone else around gives me the courage to act. Ah. I see now. Oh, he's blushing. That's a first. But it doesn't really sound right if you're just going to get all embarrassed about your own words. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. We talked for a while longer while the boat gently rocked on the water. Eventually, Ijima came to the rescue. And after we returned to the cafe, I gave Ijima my report. Phew. Well, I made some calls and found some people to clear up those water weeds. I can't do it right away, but they've promised to take care of it before the event tomorrow. We've averted a real disaster thanks to you guys. I appreciate it. We didn't really do much. It was a bit of a mishap, but it was also pretty fun. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm glad you guys still enjoyed yourselves a bit, though. And I'm really happy I asked you to test the darn thing out, Ko. Thanks for doing such a great job. No problem. I'll drop by again tomorrow to see the official launch. Yeah, please do. You guys are always welcome. Job done, and we took off. Got more gems. Well, I've done all the things now, so I imagine somewhere on the map is probably going to be a red exclamation point. Or maybe you, when I move to a new area, like an, an event will happen. Oh, that's right, we have to report to Yukino. I forgot all about that part. Uh, let me first go over to Shopping Street. Need somewhere to, uh, dump these gems off. That's a lot of money, yo. 183,000 yen on me. Doing pretty well, actually, so... Uh, oh, that's right, we did... You know what? We can buy the things that they have for sale here. Since we hit up all the shops, and we never found anything better than what they started selling here. Perfect. So I just put that there. And you. Yeah, so it's going on everyone except for the first two. Might as well take care of this now, we got a little bit of time. Let's see here, I need one, two, three, four, five of these. Goro's got the ultimate shoes on. Alright, that takes care of everyone. We got a decent amount of upgrades there. Later, Mayu. Hopefully we get other things to spend this on. Like, uh, maybe you can, uh, we'll start selling some, uh, materials that I need in the near future. Back to Brick Alley we go. And we'll actually stop right here, because the plot will undoubtedly be moving forward once we, uh, once we talk to Yukino. We'll stop right here, because the plot will undoubtedly be moving forward once we talk to Yukino. Alright, we got our save file, we're all set up for next time, and when we pick up, we'll s who knows, we got that creepy voicemail, lest we forget, so I'm expecting Fox Kid to show up any time now and ruin this autumn festival for all of us, I would think that's what's gonna happen, see you guys in the next one.